Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Philadelphia, and today we're gonna do a little bit of a mini food tour, but we're gonna eat at probably the most famous. Many people say it's the best place to eat pizza, as well as hoagie sandwiches and cheese steaks in all of Philly. This kitchen is an amusement park, and it has a pretty cool story because they are, well, they're related, and they are just down the street, like about five buildings down from what is one of the most landmark bakeries, old school Italian bakeries in all of Philly. So the plan is we're gonna go to the bakery first and then we're gonna go to the pizzeria. We're gonna have some pizza. We're gonna have some hoagies. Can't wait to share the food with you in this video. What's up, JL? Good morning. Good morning, my dude. How you doing? How you feeling? <laughs> Another great day in Philadelphia. You're about to be in for a treat again. This is about to be legendary. Like that. Okay, so here we are, Sarcone's Bakery since 1918. This is one of the greatest single bakeries, places to buy bread in all of Philadelphia. That smell of the fresh bread. And actually, they told us that they bake the bread throughout the night, so all of the bread is ready for the day. That's when people, and then people come in the morning to, to buy the bread. So that makes sense. So we probably won't have a chance to see them make the bread, but that's okay. We got a couple of the loaves of bread, and then they have amazing looking pizzas here. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of sandwich shops, they come, they get a lot of the bread from here, so. You know, that, that speaks volumes. They have an overnight crew over here that just bakes bread. So by the morning time, it's time for the sandwich, uh, sandwich shops to come pick up the bread to come over here. Um, I mean, it has to the, start the hoagies, with the bread. The cheese steaks. It's all about the bread first. You know what I mean? That's, that's, I think that's the reason why some places can't match. You know, when you go out of town, they call it a Philadelphia cheesesteak. They're doing it kind of wrong because it, they don't have the right bread. You know, it's all in the water uh. too. The water, the water, the water here, so. Tip number one. Mm. Seeds. Oh yeah, the seeds. Immediately, the flavor of sesame seeds comes through. It has this amazing chewiness. Got to be something in the Philly water. It's got to be. It's got to be that scoop of water, you know. Plus that experience of Sarcones. Yep. All right. I was missing some gravy. You do it like this. Get some gravy. You dip in the gravy. It's a nice snack before the meal. <laughs> And gravy is tomato sauce, right? Yes, right. <laughs> Pizza for breakfast, why not? For sure, always a good idea. Always, always. She even told us it's the breakfast of champions. <laughs> We're doing the right thing. Oh, man. Oh. Cheesy and greasy. You know, like, I mean, for me, the best thing about a pizza is the bread. And when the bakery is making the pizza, the most legendary bakery in Philadelphia, you know it's gonna be just amazing. Mm. Oh wow, yeah. Bring it. Hearty. All oh, that crust. Yeah, that bread. The cheese, the tomato sauce, the pepperoni. That's a sturdy bread right there. Dude, it looks like it's gonna be really cheesy, but it doesn't feel that cheesy, right? It's light, it's a really light, yeah. light slice. But That's robust, incredible. really packed with lots of flavor. And it's all about that bread, it's all about that dough. Yeah, that's absolutely key. Say goodbye. I didn't waste no time. No, no time. Mm-hmm. That hit the spot. Thank you, you too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I loved how when we were standing there, so many just locals, probably loyal neighbors in this area, you can tell they come there every day to buy their bread. Yeah, I would if I lived here. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. And literally uh, less than a, like a 10 second walk down the road, we're gonna get to Angelo's Pizzeria. Angelo's is one of those places that everything you order is the best version of what they do. I mean, from pizza to hoagies to cheesesteaks to cutlets, everyone says everything. You can't go wrong. Well, we're, 
We're on a cheesesteak marathon. Let's have a hoagie, a cheesesteak, and a pizza. Perfect. Staff favorite? Grandma pie? The grandma pie? I'm liking that. When they have this many pizza boxes folded and ready to go, you know it's serious. Look, it's only 11. They open up at 11, right? It's 11.21. And they got these pies waiting to get picked up. Two, four, six, eight pies getting ready to be picked up. And the sandwich is over there too. So, so Angelo's is probably one of the best in the city. Danny here, he's the owner. He's married to uh, Sarcone. So that's the connection of Sarcone and Angelo's. The legacy. The legacy, right? The Literally legacy right of the Sarcone, pie. the yeah. greatest bakery. That's right. Cool. And this is the hoagie station. Uh -huh. Okay, this one's the regular done. Over here at the hoagie station, Victor's making the hoagies, the Italian hoagies. Four different meats go on. Again, you see the quality of that bread. Oh man, it looks so good layering in those meats strategically and just engineering the perfect hoagie. And lettuce next. Onions go on. That's Victor on the hoagie station. Those are fully, the hoagie man. Those are fully loaded hoagies. The freshness, the aroma. Gonna move over to the pizza station next. Angelo's is a pizzeria, although they make hoagies and sandwiches and Philly cheesesteaks, but their pizza is one of the main things that you come here for. All about the bread, and you can tell that just from the way that it bakes from those crispy edges, the square pies, the grandma pie that we got, the bubbly crispiness of that is just unbelievable. Oh, that bubbly crust is just. Do this one with that. Oh, that might be the most bubbly, like puffy. It's like a balloon of a pizza that I've ever seen. It looks incredible. That mallard effect, the the char, the crust. Oh wow. Right there. Oh, nice. That's so this grandma. one is the grandma pie? Yep, that's your pizza right there. Sweet. You guys are just flying in here. So good. So good. Just non-stop pizzas in and out of the oven, just flying out the door. Oh man, that's like the bubbliest pizza I've ever seen in my life. Okay, from the pizza station, we're moving on to the cheesesteak station. Oh, 
Oh, you can see the quality of that steak too. <laughs> Man, you can just see the quality of that steak that they use here and those skills, those chopping skills. Oh yeah, man. Shredding that steak. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. The oils, the juices coming out. Now that is a cheesesteak production. The hoagie station is just non-stop hoagies. The pizza, they're just flying non-stop pizzas. And the steak station for the Philly cheesesteaks is just non-stop steak action. The entire griddle loaded with steak, thinly sliced steak. Hey, baby. What's up, man? He literally dances on that steak with the spatulas ripping them apart, shredding that steak. This kitchen is an amusement park. Thank you, muchas gracias, man. Just respect to all the different stations, everyone at Angelo's. Wow, this is one of the most exciting kitchens in Philadelphia. We're heading upstairs. Oh, nice place up here to start eating. Thank you very much. So normally they don't really have a seating section. It's takeaway delivery, but they do have this upstairs. Oh yeah. <laughs> they do have an amazing upstairs uh, dining room, but it's kind of a staff room, but it's a room that you can also rent out for, for a private function. And they have just graciously opened this up for JL and I to sit down here and chow down. Oh, man. Look at that. Wow. Perfection, baby. Wow. Woo! Smell that? That's that... about as good as it gets, man. There's been times oh, when, when I spoke to the owner, Danny, or shout out to Danny, and shout out to yeah, Jared, Yeah, thank too. you. Yep. Um, sometimes they don't open up because they just, they, they're not satisfied with how the dough came out for that day. That's the type of business practice they, wow. that, that, that they do here at Angelo. So when it's right and they open up, once they open up the phone lines, the, the rings, you know, the calls start coming in, and that's when you know that dough was just right. So. Yeah, and even, even going along with that, they weren't serving the meatball sub and yep. the Parmesan cutlet. So that's something we have to come back for because they're not, they weren't prepared for that. And that's okay, you know, like that's, that's a sign of an amazing quality restaurant yeah. Yeah. not wanting to compromise. Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful looking pie, you know, look at that. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's the, the grandma. The grandma. Yep. It's the grandma pie. The grandma pie. The grandma pie. Actually, one of my favorite pies. Tomato sauce, it's cheese finished off at the end with a sprinkle of basil leaves and Parmesan, I believe. Caramelized, bubbly, the mallard effect. Oh man, that's a, that's a work of beautiful pizza art. All right, man, ready, man? here we go. Cheers. First bite, First bite Angelo's. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's a game changer right there, man. 
Oh, wow. That is a total game changer right there. Oh, the harmony, the puffiness of the bread, the tomato sauce, the cheese, that sprinkle of basil. Jared was telling us that this is the, this is the staff favorite pizza, and that's why we went for it as well. This is my favorite too. Wow. You might as well call me staff because I, this is my favorite as well. <laughs> this is an absolute treat, game changing, simplicity at its finest right here, man. There's no sausage, there's no pepperoni to cover up the, the flavor mm -hmm. of that basil, the cheese, the tomato sauce is shining. Gooey, chewy, crusty. It's kind of like, mm. kind of reminds me of a croissant type of action going on with that crust too. Like a somewhat, not, not as flaky, but it is, can be flaky, you know what I mean? So. Almost has a like butteriness to it. Very super buttery. Mm. Super buttery. <laughs> <laughs> that crunchy cheese bite. <laughs> Oh, Angelo. It's a good John right here. John. You gotta learn John. You know what John is? I don't. J A W N. John. That's anything. You can use that for anything. It's a good John right here. A good John right here. There you go. <laughs> Let's set this pizza aside and try those so the cheese steak. Do the cheese steak while it's still hot? Yep. You can always do that as hot. Alright. Right. Amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna double wrap serious sandwich. Let's see how messy this is gonna be. It's like a, a kid on Christmas morning right here trying to open up a gift. Oh yeah. Oh, Sheesh. the sausage. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, and that bread. Oh, oh, wow. A puff, a cloud of steam comes out <laughs> as soon as you break that open. We got it with a sharp provolone, although you can get it with cheese whiz, you can get it with... They normally do Cooper um, Sharp. I don't think, these, I think the, the lady said there's no more Cooper Sharp, but they do have sharp provolone. Sharp provolone. Yeah. And then we got the long hot chilies. Long hot, so got some fried onions in here. Yeah. Look, look, look. You could hold this up vertically, nothing falls out, and yet it's fully stuffed. It's almost as if, I mean, the bread is sliced, but it's stuck together so well with that cheese yeah. that it seals it together. It glues it, <laughs> glues it tight. It almost looks like the bread is hollowed out and just stuffed. It's the perfect ratio of bread and meat right here. Bulging full of steak. That is hot. <laughs> I don't want to ruin this construction but we have to see the interiors of this. Mm. <laughs> oh man, oh. fully loaded. Won't he do fully it? Fully chopped up. Steak is chopped up just right, it's not too fine. I love chunks of steak in my sandwich. Love it. it Cheers, is, Dale. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Mmm. When I took that bite, I actually heard some bubbling action bubbling. <laughs> from the cheese. There's a sandwich talking back to you. <laughs> that sandwich said, I love you, Mark. And it, those are the long hops have that little tinge of bitterness to them, too, right? Mm -hmm. That balances out the flavor. The steak is shreddle, shredded and frizzled, but not overly so. So you've still got these strandy strips of steak. The cheese is completely melted and fold it into it, and it's got a bit of a bite to it since it's a sharp provolone. Let me just stare at your sandwich. I admire your sandwich. I admire your cheese steak. I admire everything about you. I want to take you out on a date one day. Wow, that bread. Mm. Chewy. Steak is nice. It's, it's thick. It's not overly, like I said, it's not overly minced up or anything like that. So much flavor in this sandwich right here. That is. It's a top cheese steak, right? I'm going to say it for me. I've had a lot of cheesesteaks. This to me can very well be everyone's number one. And I won't be mad at y'all if y'all say it's y'all number one cheesesteak. Oh man. Like every every cheesesteak has its purpose, you know? Like this to me, if you're looking for, you're coming from out of town, you cannot go wrong with an Angelo's cheesesteak. This is a great way to, to tell someone, hey, this is how a cheesesteak from Philly should taste like. This is the one, this is top dog right here. And a quality, quality cheesesteak. Oh man.
that is rich and heavy and just insane flavor. Hoagie, there we go. This is gonna be a beautiful looking hoagie. All right, let me get the same bread. Yeah, I think it's the same bread as the, the cheesesteak. Fill, fill the weight. Weight test, oh man, solid, exactly. solid. It feels like a brick, you know, it's just loaded with the meats. And I saw the way he just carefully layered in four or five different meats, <laughs> the lettuce, the onions, the tomato in there, sprinkled it with oil and vinegar. Oh, round of applause. Sprinkled it with oil. Round of applause for this baby. Oh. Wow. We got it with all the different peppers they offer. I think the sweet chilies, the, the roasted chilies, the long, long hots too, right? The strategy of the Philly hoagie is how they layer in all the ingredients and the meat actually protects the bread from the, the oil, from the juicier ingredients. Can't come to South Philly and not try an Italian hoagie, that's for sure. And this looks already, you know, it's gonna be one of the best <laughs> ever. Freshness. Look at my taste right there, that's different. The oregano. The oregano. Really tasty oregano. The mix of chilies. It's like a salad within your hoagie, plus all those different meats. A harmony. Great about this hoagie is after the really, really rich cheesesteak and the pizza, this feels light and refreshing. Super refreshing. And cool. These cuts got like nice peppercorn in it. Mm. I think prosciutto or whatever it is. And the meats are cut so thin. Let me show y'all. Or is that the salami? Salami. Oh yeah. Restuff everything in there. Look at these chilies. Oh. Look at that. Mm. That's what's making it so good too. Just that's probably what it is. That's throwing it over. A couple the top. chilies that just slide down the entire hoagie. Mmm. Seriously. Angelo's Pizzeria. It's just one of those places where you cannot make a bad order at Angelo's. Whatever they have on their menu. JL had told me about Angelo's. I had some uh, amazing people who recommended it on social media. Yeah, so happy that we had a chance to come. The owners, the managers, all the staff at Angelo's. Shout out to all of them. Everyone cool. So cool. Yeah. All makes, no misses, as they say. No, 10 for 10 on the free throw one. <laughs> so as we're finishing up these hoagies, probably gonna have a few more slices of pizza. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> but we're gonna end this video. Thanks to JL for bringing me here, for taking me around. Make sure, head over to Dale, JL Jupiter. His channel, I'll have it in the description box below, but he makes amazing food videos. Highlighting communities, highlighting the food around Philadelphia and the surrounding areas. Now go subscribe, go check out Jail's videos. And thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up. Thank you, Jail. Thank you so Another much. Another amazing meal in Philadelphia. I'm so happy. Thank you again for allowing me to just rock with you in Philadelphia and oh, show you around this you. beautiful city. So, you know, I, you're welcome anytime. I keep saying that, Mark. You're always welcome here, brother. Always. Thank you, Jail. Thank you, Jail. Yeah. Go Birds. See you on the next video. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Come on, Michael.